I am going to create a man for fellowship. And that is where I am going to dwell. I'm going to live there. The father asked his son to go. And he said, Father, I'll go. And he is the very essence of God. Jesus said, you've seen me, you've seen the father. So when Jesus came down, will you take the sins upon you and will you redeem them from the power of hell? Will you redeem them from the dominion of sin? Jesus said, I delight, Father, to do your will. And Jesus came down to this earth and he gave his life and he delighted in it and came, paid for the price of sin and then went to the heavens and ascended. His spirit comes to abide in us. I believe Jesus died for the sins of mankind and that all who come to him by faith can be saved. There was an old covenant and a new covenant. And the old covenant was to bring men to realize that they don't have the power to keep themselves from the wicked one. How many times have you tried and made promises and you have tried to defeat the dominion of sin in your life or a habit or a lust and you couldn't do it because man in his own strength and his own power can't do it. And in the old testament or under the old covenant, that's what the law was about to show man his weakness, to show the power sin and that man needed a redeemer he needed someone else he needed the spirit of god himself to come down and empower him he is the word he speaks to us through his word and he says i am going to bring my word to them i'm going to place before them my word and i'm going to speak to them through that word i'm going to have fellowship the bible said the secret of the lord is with the righteous he said he doesn't do anything until he shares his secret with those. This is the essence of love. When you truly love somebody, you hear things that nobody else hears. You know things that nobody else knows. And Jesus anticipated coming to abide in you and be so in one with you where you would be alone with him and he can tell you why God sent him. He wants to tell you about God's plan for the world about the plan of salvation. He wanted to talk to you about his covenant. He wanted to talk to you about his names. He had so much on his heart to share the innermost secrets of the Godhead. Show me any man who walks in true righteousness before the Lord, not according to the law, but through grace in Christ. Show me the one who is truly holy and righteous before God, and I'll show you somebody that's been waiting, hearing Jesus comes out. The Holy Ghost comes out every day, every day. Walks right out in the Holy of Holies, invites you in and he comes in and says, Come on, let me show you something new. Let me show you more about holiness, righteousness. He delights in those who forsake all others, clinging only to him. They delight in spending quality time with him. They seek him daily. They unbosom their hearts to him. He shares his secrets with them. They will be with him. They will be brought up by him. They will not neglect him but will delight in his word. They will study the word to know him. They will wait on him. They will tremble in his word. You know he anticipated spending a lifetime with you, alone in this book and alone in a secret closet where you were growing into a spiritual giant. I don't care how old you are. Today can be the beginning of your life. It can be beginning of a life of prayer, a life of God showing you this word, and you can still be a spiritual giant before you die. Lord, draw nigh to those who need an arm around them.